Hey guys, it's Scully and this is Renix. Welcome to That Snow tutorial that I've been promising for a while. Life got in the way, then coronavirus got in the way, and then work was absolutely mayhem. So it's only now I'm getting a chance to actually sit down and record this and get it out for you guys. So let's get straight down to business, shall we? So it is an X Particles tutorial, so I hope you have the newest version of X Particles. Anyway. Let's move on. X particle system. Bring that boy into your scene. Grab the emitter. Wanna rotate that 90 degrees towards the point going to emit downwards. We're going to scale her up. So we can get some nice uh big fall. Uh, that should be high enough. And we'll press T to scale up another small bit and we should be good to go. Next thing. In your emitter, in your emission tab. Put burnt rate to 10,000, so 10, zero, zero, zero. Put your radius to one and your speed to zero. So if we play that, it bugs out for some reason and now it fixes itself. So we're emitting particles and they're not falling, which is what we want. Next, we'll go to our modifiers, motion modifiers and gravity. We're going to put our gravity strength to about 35, not too strong, not too weak. And now if we press play, they'll start slowly falling. So now we're not done yet. Modifiers, turbulence. Put your turbulence strength to nine. Okay, that's, that's it for the turbulence. So now we'll go back again, motion modifiers and get wind. We're going to put our wind strength to 34. Uh, actually, no, let's do 36. And we'll put our frequency to 60. Let's change things up a bit. So now if I press play, there's actually a bit of a fall to it. See? Just like that. So now, what we'll do is emitter. Groups. Create and add group. So we have part group 1, then click on groups, and then create group. And also make sure in your emitter in the groups only particle group one shows up otherwise it'll mess up everything and you'll just be hitting your head off a wall like i used to when i couldn't figure out the reason why it was messing up but anyway uh particle group one rename that to floating and particle group two call that sticky change the color of sticky to red Perfect. And also in turbulence, groups affected, turbulence only affect floating. There we go. Just like that. So now what we will do is we'll press play and see how that is. Make sure everything's working fine. And everything is working. So now we'll bring in a cube. We'll scale the cube up. This can be our collision object. I'm going to rotate it so it's kind of pointy. I don't know. I'll just I don't know. Don't ask. And we will move it over here a bit. I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. So what we'll do is we'll add a X particles collider tag onto that. Tag. We'll put our bounce to zero, friction to 100. Turn on connect on collision and put that to 100 stiffness. Next things next. We will add an action. And if I can find it, it will be a change group action change group uh, so group affected will be floating and sticky will be our new group then we'll go up here and click add modifier and then we can mess around up here so in the xp change group action go into the object new group sticky just like that so if we press play now when these particles hit the cube which they do they turn red and you can't see that so let me try and change this to squares and see if that makes a difference. I'm probably too late to change. Oh no, perfect. Okay. So you can see that they're green and when they hit the cube, they turn red. Which is exactly what we want. It's easy, just like that. In XP change group, go into actions, add action, direct action and then we will go for a freeze particles group affected sticky 
Oh, and also here it's set speed to zero. Make sure that it's also ticked. So now if we press play, it should literally do what it did in the preview. We'll let it play through and see if it works. Wow, incredible. That's literally it. That's how easy it is, guys. This is a complete mess of green and the recording is probably losing bitrate like hell. But you can see that it is turning red. So that's pretty much a tutorial to be honest guys. There's nothing else I can like add to make it look different. Like all you have to do now is mess your wind speed, your turbulence, your gravity, just to get your custom look. But other than that, that's it guys. So if you did enjoy this tutorial, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe to the channel and if there's any more tutorials that you would like from X Particles, Octane, Cinema, whatever. If I if I know how to do it, I'll let you know. But guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace out. See you soon.